uh, how to write abstract in uh, scientific article or scientific manuscript actually it is very important uh, because the uh, abstract is a very important uh, section in the scientific manuscript because the abstract is the only part of the paper that published in conference proceedings and search engines uh, anyone who downloads the abstracts he can know the importance and the strength of your research through reading of the abstracts. It should help your reader understand the paper and help people searching for this paper and uh, de decide whether it suits their purposes prior to reading uh, or not. Uh, it's uh, of importance again to remind you that each journal has its format of abstract writing so it's important uh, to go at the website of the journal you are going to submit your research or your article and to read carefully the instruction for author and to know the format of the abstracts uh, uh, of uh, this particular journal you are going to submit the article type of abstracts actually we have two main types of abstracts for scientific manuscripts uh, uh, unstructured uh, informative type <coughs> uh, like the one who is uh, shown in these slides uh, these abstracts are uh, free-flowing don't have predefined subheadings and are randomly used for papers that usually do not describe uh, original research the other type uh, is the structure descriptive abstracts and uh, this type of uh, abstracts are the uh, types who are uh, common uh, uh, required now for uh, publications and to be written in the scientific uh, manuscripts uh, structure abstracts are followed by most journals as we said are more informative and include specific subheadings or subsections under which the abstract needs to be composed uh, these subheadings usually include uh, uh, context uh, background and then objectives uh, design settings uh, describe the participants interventions you have done uh, main outcome measures results and conclusion actually some journals uh, stick to the standard MRAD format we uh, discussed in the video of uh, background for uh, writing a scientific manuscript. MRAD uh, means uh, introduction, material and uh, method, results and uh, discussion. Okay, and the, the subheadings would include uh, introduction, background, uh, methods, results, and instead of discussion, we write a conclusion. So the uh, standard uh, uh, structure descriptive abstracts now required by most journals uh, includes uh, subheadings or uh, subtitles includes a introduction background uh, materials and methods results and conclusion to achieve a good abstract uh, you have to consider it is easy to understand uh, easy language, informative without much details, uh, summarize the methods without details as possible, uh, you mention the major findings uh, and uh, ultimately write uh, at the end a clear conclusions for readers and uh, avoid much abbreviations in the abstracts and it's of importance to know that abstracts don't have reference you don't have to mention reference in the abstract so as we mentioned the abstracts include subtitles uh, of subheadings uh, background or objectives materials and patients uh, methods results and conclusion background states why you, the work was undertaken and is, is usually uh, written in just a couple of sentences, not more than 
couple of sentences. The hypothesis study questions and the major objectives are also stated under this heading. Uh, then you mention the, um, the patients or the material, your material, uh, in very brief sentence, uh, grouping, uh, and then uh, the methods. This subsection is the longest, actually, in all abstracts, and it uh, states what was done and gives the essential details uh, of the study design, um, settings, participants, uh, blinding sample uh, size, sample methods, interventions, durations, and you mentioned the follow-up. Uh, may you mention research instruments, uh, the main outcome uh, measures, uh, and the uh, parameters evaluated, and how the outcome was were uh, assessed or analyzed. This briefly uh, mentioned in the methods, and as we said, it, it is the longest section in the abstracts. Uh, results or findings, this subheading states what was found. Uh, is longer is difficult to draft and needs to mention important details, including the number of study participants, results of analysis, whether primary or secondary objectives, and include actual data, number, mean, um, median, standard deviation. You mentioned the p-values, uh, 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 confidence intervals, effect sizes, relative risks, and uh, so on. Uh, finally, you mention, uh, you write under the subheadings conclusion, uh, which is very important part in the abstract. Uh, most of readers reading the abstracts uh, uh, look at first to the conclusion. Uh, take home message. Uh, uh, the so what, uh, uh, the conclusion is the so what of the paper. And other significant important, important findings should be stated here, considering the interpretation of the research questions, hypothesis. hypothesis. Um, of course, without much interpretation of finding. Finally, uh, conclusion may also include the author's views on the implication of the study. Thank you.